Yeah, right, guys, connecting with her, and uh, I'm just going to show you a tutorial on the uh, CC lens that uh, people asked about. So I'm just going to show you on me. So as you can see, the screen kind of jolts forward and like um, ripples back. And it's quite an easy effect if you know how to do it. If you don't, then obviously I'm going to show you right now. Um, it's like my second attempt, no, my third attempt to doing it because the second, the first time I did it, it messed up like completely. And then the second attempt, uh, it went perfectly fine. Upload it to YouTube and it fucked up. Uh, apparently YouTube did not somehow like the QuickTime file. And they kind of uh, misplaced the audio. In like, oh, well, the audio was on it, but it's just some reason it was out of sync and everything. So, yeah. So I thought, uh, because I love my subscribers, even though I ain't got many of you, but I'll do it again. So I'm just going to import the song and the file. YouTube files, daylight, best gameplay, and this is one. So I'm just going to, what basically I'm going to do first is I'm going to find a bit of the beat that I want. Because obviously, it does like a triple beat if you are watching the video. Um, I'm just going to skip it forward just for this video. It's nothing good. I'm just gonna, it won't be amazing, it's going to be kind of rough, but uh, you guys will understand what I mean by what it does. I'm just going to sync this quick, we'll find, we'll mark it out. Okay, so obviously I just marked it out there. It's quite simple. Yeah, markers for each beat. Alright, so I'm just going to drag the clip on here. And I want to kind of find the same point I did last time so you guys understand. That's about there. So, basically, obviously, you've got your clip selected, right? And you want to go to effect. Generate. No, not generate, sorry, not generate. Distort. CC lens, and obviously when you first put it on, it goes like a Sophia shape, and it looks like it's reflected uh, Sophia, and just looks fucked. So basically, on the size, you want to change it to 500, and it goes back to normal. And uh, so basically, what you do now is you want to make the drop down bar effect CC lens, and you just want to go a few frames back, so about there. I'm just going to keyframe it at 500. Go forward one frame. And I experimented with this to see which is the best. And 150 for me, I think, is the best. So it goes like that. And basically, what I, what I did here, I went to the end of the marker. And uh, here, right after the end of the marker, I put 500. Which was obviously default, which is like the name, like where it's back to normal. So basically, what it does is, comes forward, it re like it just like the jump at you, and it kind of like um, ripples back. Well, not literally ripple, but you guys understand. So I'm just gonna do the rest of the clip quick, and so you guys understand what it does. All right, so keyframe, one forward one, one fifty, and the end of it. Nearly done, guys. Don't worry. Sorry, it's a bit boring for you. I'm not the most tutorial guy. Um, sorry. Um, right, so basically, I'm just going to brand preview this so you guys can see what it's done. Right, so put it there. Should run preview quite quickly. 
So as you can tell there, it's just like, obviously it riffled, it jumps out at you and it kind of just like, uh, riffled back. So yeah guys, that was obviously connecting well. Um, if you want me to do more tutorials like this, uh, please let, please tell me in the comments below. So say if I did another effect on the video and you guys will know about it, I'll do a tutorial and I'll see you guys can learn. So yeah, this is connecting well. Have a nice day.